So whether I take this profile and use it to cut through the solid face, or if I take that profile and project it down onto that face, it's still the same thing. It's doing it through that view, through that top view, down onto the face. It has the same exact net result. I'm going to take this right now and do a solid extrude. I'm going to chain that profile, say OK. And I'm going to do a cut body. And I want to extend to a point. And we'll say OK to that. And it says select the point to extrude to. And I'm just going to pick the center of the cylinder. That's good enough. So that cuts through the face. That gives me my opening. And next I'm going to tell it to do another extrude and I'm going to pick uh, the outer chain and the inner chain both going clockwise so that they'll project going down. I shouldn't say project, extrude going down. This time we're going to do an add to boss. I want to extend to a point again but I want to trim to a selected face and I think this is probably what you're looking for. This is what you want it to do. You want to make sure that it ends at that face. So we're going to OK that, and it says select the face to extrude to. So I want to extrude to that face. Now I'll hit Enter. Uh, select the point to extrude to, and I'm just going to pick this quadrant point at the uh, top inside circle there. And um, I'm pretty sure that's what, you're, that's what you're wanting it to do, is you want that extrude to end at that face. Now once you've got that, you can do things like put in a fillet, and I'm going to tell it that I only want to grab edges, and I'll grab that edge, enter, I'll say 200 thousandths, and propagate, which will force it to go all the way along that edge, and then you can do stuff like that. But I think, I think that's what you're looking at. You wanted it to end at the face, and you thought you had to have geometry that went from there up. No, you just tell it to trim to a selected face, and that's all you need.